to look at the global turnover. And getting you a news break right now, promoters of SREI Group have submitted a proposal to withdraw the group companies from insolvency. Sources say that promoters have submitted a plan to the lenders claiming that the current plans do not offer fair consideration to the group's creditors and stakeholders. Ritu Singh joins us now with more details. Ritu, what will happen to the SREI resolution plan now? Well, really, this is a very last-minute twist because we understand that the promoters of Shrey Group, that is the Kanoria family, have now submitted a proposal to withdraw the company from insolvency under Section 12A of the IBC to the administrator of these companies. Now, this settlement proposal comes from the Shrey promoter firm Adi Street Commercial just days ahead of the voting decision on the three resolution plans which have been submitted for, uh, for the company from NARCL, Autumn and a consortium of Valde and Arena, as we've been reporting. Now, as part of the proposal, the promoters have offered to fully repay the secured and unsecured lenders their dues in the form of various debt instruments, which will include your NCDs, OCDs, etc., over a period of time. This they propose to do so by monetizing some assets using some of the cash that is already on the books of the company and also infusing money through an identified investor, which they haven't named, and so on. Now, lenders, however, we understand are unlikely to consider this last minute proposal. Uh, from the Canoria family, given that the company was brought under IBC by the RBI for governance-related concerns, among other reasons, in the first place. Now, meanwhile, the voting decision, we understand, on the resolution plans has been extended. Uh, the decision is likely by the 14th of Feb. And as we've been reporting earlier, in NPV terms, uh, the National Asset Reconstruction Company, that has made the highest offer of 5,555 crores against the total admitted claims of about 32,700 crores from various creditors. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ritu, for joining us with that big exclusive right now. We're going to take a short break right now, but on the other side, death toll in the aftermath of the Turkey-Syria earthquake crosses 17,000 as rescue operations enter the fourth day.